you can watch me on the in the YouTube as well. Yeah, if you're having an issue with the Zoom, so you can you can catch me on the YouTube as well. So we are live on the YouTube as well. All right. So here you can see over there. Okay, so if you are having an issue, then you can straight to go through the YouTube and you can watch me over there as well. Okay, if you are having an issue with the Zoom. So I hope everything is alright there and on Zoom as well, so on both sides. So the the reason to not hold the the weekly market outlook yesterday was that we were having some elections over the weekend and because of that elections we were anticipating some volatility into the market. Yeah. So I hope you fellows understand that how to to manage you know how to save yourself from these kind of risky events. All right, so what we have seen, we have seen, you know, some gaps. We were anticipating some gaps on some euro pairs and, uh, you know, Kiwi pairs. We have seen market open with gap and now falling to the to the to the downside. Yeah, euro and uh, New Zealand uh, dollar is is getting worse. Yeah, so that was the main reason to not hold the the weekly market outlook over the weekend. And uh, we were waiting for the market to open so that we can see, you know, what's going on into the market after the election. All right. So let's start for 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 the mar a weekly market outlook. All right. So dollar index. Let's look at the dollar index. What we are having on dollar index. So dollar index still in in in, in a bigger daily corrective formation all right so bigger daily corrective formation for the downside bigger daily trend continuation pattern formation for the downside all right so we were anticipating last week to to rise all right so we were anticipating some rise If you remember that, we were waiting for that wave to complete up to this bottom or up to that area and then rise. All right. So we have seen price never made double bottom and started rise. Or rise. Yeah. So we managed to, 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 to go along in our trading room. We, we, we went, went along from this area and, uh, you know, we're looking for, for, for buy from that area during the Fed rate this year. All right. So, fellows. It is not going anywhere anytime soon. Okay, dollar index. It is not going anywhere means that not going to reverse for longer term and not going to continue to the downside yet. Yeah? Staying in this formation for a while. Alright, something like that. Alright, something like that. So what we may see after that, that move. That move. Okay, so we may see after another move to the downside. Okay, so pay attention at, at that trend line for, for, for this week. What's going on at this area? All right, we may see another move to the downside on dollar index. All right, so we are still in downtrend market, a, a downtrend, strong, bearish market. So we may see one more move to the downside. So Euro USD, Euro USD, what we need to look for. We need to look for this trend to break down clearly. All right, this trending 
this strong trend to the upside. All right, we gonna pay attention at this area this week. If this trend is going to break down this week, yeah, so we may see some bullish movement. I mean, upside momentum on the dollar index and and on all dollar pairs as well. All right, so we need to see stronger breakout this week. If this breakout is going to happen, prices um, euro US is going to break down. Then we're gonna wait and watch for the continuation formation and gonna wait for this head and shoulder formation and gonna go to the downside up to 110 within these areas. All right, so if we don't see this breakout, which is market trying to, to, to do now, yeah, right now it is trying to break out at this area. All right, so if we're gonna see it is going to, to, to clear that breakout to the downside. Yeah, let the market clear that breakout and wait for the pullback and then look for sell. All right. So we are already into that trade. Okay. We are already into that trade from this area. So some of my, my, my traders got stopped out on break even and some took that trade again in our trading room. But we we are looking for the pro to the euro usd to break down this area okay that area we are waiting for this to to, to see stronger breakdown and then we're gonna start to sell the rally to the downside for 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 longer term okay so what we may see fellows we may see price section at this area okay price section for another up move so we need to consider price action at this area okay another up move if it is going to break down we should not look for buy at this area let it break down clearly okay this is not a sell place if anyone is trying to sell at this area this is not a sell place you need to see clear breakdown first and then you need to see the continuation formation the way we have seen at this area okay we were looking for this breakout if you remember that okay this break we got the breakout we got another continuation we got the breakout, we got the gap and continuation to the downside. All right. Okay, so what we can look for, we can look for short term buy, this buy. All right, like that. For that, we need to see the price action at this area. Okay, first of all, we need to see that either market is going to stop at this area or not. If it is going to stop at this area, then you need to look for this trade. All right, then you need to look for that trade. If it is not going to stop, it is going to break down. That where we are going, we are going for the reversal to the downside. That is what we want on your USD. We want to see reversal. Yeah, we want to see your USD close to 110 again. Okay, so we need to see the breakout. So you need to pay attention at this area. Keep eye at this bottom. All right, so like symmetrical triangle formation. All right, symmetrical tri triangle formation. That one more up move may appear over there. One more up leg. Okay, like this previous one. All right, so that is the place where we're gonna decide which way market is going to do. Either either it is going to, to, to get down by the reversal or going to get up. Okay, so pay attention. So those members who are already into that trade, you just need to stay into that trade on break even. Okay, those who sold this breakout, this stronger breakout, we sold that breakout in our room. Even I, you know. I updated about that breakout on Telegram. So those who are following me on Telegram, I hope they managed to, to to sell the euro. Yeah, so I updated about that. So this was the breakout, if you remember that. And yeah, we were having that breakout. So those fellows who are into the sell side, just stay into that trade and look for further breakout to the downside. Yeah, so those fellows who are not following me on telegram they can follow me on telegram for 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 trade setup yeah so i update over there most of the time when i see you know a trade setup is going to be continue yeah rather than posting on trading view okay so you can follow me on trading view on telegram both places or even on facebook page for for you know quick trade setup so that is the place just keep eye it is currently it is breaking let it breakdown yeah so those those fellows those those fellows who are looking to sell okay this is not a place to sell let it break down clearly watch for continuation like that 
All right? So then we're going to look for sell to the downside. All right? Are those who are already into that trade, then we're going to look for further sells or we're going to add more position to the to the downside on your USD. So currently it is breaking perfect. Let it break down. Yeah? So if it's, it is not going to break out, what we may see, fellows, we may see another leg. All right? That leg. Okay, that leg. So currently we are waiting and watching for the changing pattern formation of that symmetrical triangle. So let's see what we get. Okay, so USD chief. USD chief. So we were talking about this pair in our uh, in our you know morning meeting. We were looking to sell on this pair. We were waiting this pair to come close to that top last week. So price came close to that top. We were looking for this sell. All right, this sell. So this sell. We are looking for that sell. All right. If this sell is going to happen over there, your USD one more leg up. Yeah. And one more leg to the downside of the XY. Okay. So pay attention at the bottom on your USD and pay attention at the top on this pair. Okay. For that, that move. Okay. So remember, the bigger structure and the bigger formation we are looking for on USD chief, the XY, and Euro USD. We are looking for the reversal. Let me look at the daily time frame, not the weekly. Yeah, this formation. Okay, we are looking for this to rise back up to that top. So currently we are at the price section area, price section point. So or you can say that the CN point. Either market can continue to the upside or can reverse back within that pattern formation. Another leg. Okay, so what kind of formation we may see over there? This formation. All right, something like that after this. Okay, so we are waiting and watching price action at that top. So a couple of my fellows are already into that trade. So those fellows who are not, you need to look for price action in lower time frame. Currently, it is falling so aggressively. You just need to watch. You need to watch. A continuation formation at this area okay something like that and then you need to see the breakout to the downside okay so keep your eye on the USD chief so currently we are having some you know news event into the market because of that safe heavens are are rising and others are falling okay so now let's look at the euro yen and then we're gonna get to the downside to others okay, to other, on other pairs so we were watching price action in our meeting early meet, uh, morning meeting at this area we got the flag we were waiting for that flag and we sold that breakout okay so I shared that chart in the telegram for the for, for the followers and uh, told that if you're gonna see another flag then look for continuation to the downside so this formation panels Okay, first of all, you need to look at the this lower degree channel, this lower degree channel, okay? If this channel is going to break out at this area, those those members who are already into that sell stay into that trade, okay? You need to pay attention at this area. If it is going to break out, this pair has a huge potential over there, okay? So it is pushing up with a couple of candles, but... Once this pair is going to start to continue to the downside, we're going to see aggressive moves. All right. So when yen pairs start to move, they move so aggressively. Okay. So aggressively. So we are already into that trade. So those fellows who are not into that trade, we saw this breakout. Yeah. We saw this breakout. So we were we, price was somewhere here when we were talking about this pair in our trading room. So we saw that break breakout. So what you need to look for those fellows who are, you know, not into that trade. We need you need to see another formation like this at, at, at this area, okay, like that. Then you can go for that trade, all right, and wait and watch for this trend line. If it is going to break out, stay into that trade. If it is not going to break down, reversing, take off your profit, and you can look for another leg to the upside within that channel, okay. 
So it looks like stock is so aggressive, so it continue. So it should continue for the downside. Okay, so you can look for another like like that. Okay, so that is the place we need to where we need to pay attention. So oil. Oil is rising aggressively, so this is the formation the formation I'm looking for. Alright, so if it is going to break out, oil is going to break out, then it can come up to that top. Okay, so it can come up to 70 area. If it is going to break this top. If it is not going to break that top, we need to look for that one, you know, leg to the downside. Look at this leg. Or even further downside something like that all right within these areas so currently we are at the price action area we are at the decision point either price is going to continue to the upside or completion of that pattern yeah like this all right like this ABC or one two three or flag or zigzag you can call that whatever you want Okay, so it can pass this area if it is going to continue at this area. So we need to pay attention at that top. So keep an eye, watch price action. If it is going to reverse aggressively from that top, then sell. All right, so then sell. If you don't see any price action and it is keep going up, let it go. All right, so when you, you, you need to look for buy, when you're going to see a continuation formation. Then if you don't see that, Formation, there is no trade setup. Okay, so when they're gonna be a trade setup, once so you're gonna see that it is going to form a some price action at that top and going to reverse from that top. Okay, so then currently it is testing 60 areas. So let it test. Okay, so like this, we need to see some price action before selling the oil. Right, so something like that. Okay, something like this price section. Then you need to be interested to look for sell the oil. Otherwise, this is oil is pushing, let it push. Okay, that that was the way the way we were looking for on that time. Alright, so keep an eye at the top. So USD rand. So we were looking for this pair to, to fall to the downside. So keep an eye on this pair, okay? That area, that top. So this is the trade we are looking for on this pair, okay? So if it is going to break above this top, we are not interested to sell, okay? If it is going to break above. So sell setup only gonna be over there once price gonna stay under that trend line, okay? So a couple of candles, something like this, will not you know violate that structure something like that okay a couple of candles will not violate that structure so keep an eye and this is the trade all right so i i share that trade uh, on telegram so those fellows who are already into that trade stay into that trade okay so that is the place where you need to look for sell so price is testing that area Okay, so a couple of candles like that, couple of candles will not change that structure, that formation. Alright, so that is the way, the way we are looking for. Okay, keep an eye at that trend line. So New Zealand CAD, this way. Alright, this way. If you remember the previous week, I told you we are gonna Wash price section at this trend line. At that time, price was here at this area last week. Yeah, so we have seen these couple of candles over there during the previous week. Okay, so this this wave for that wave, price is just developing the continuation formation at this area. Okay, go for breakout. This breakout. That is the trade. So the first target gonna be the previous low. All right. It is developing the continuation formation. So break above that trend line means that we are bullish. Yeah, it is going to reverse to the upside. We are looking for one more leg. Okay, we are looking that one more leg at the bottom. All right, this flag. 
okay at some some this this area you need to pay attention okay those who want to sell before the breakout that is the area so your stop loss should be behind that you need to see price action before getting into the market okay or if you are not happy to sell over there look for this breakout so new zealand dollar we are looking for this daily to break down okay so we are already into that trade on that day when there was a fed array this year we were already selling this pair from this area in our room so what we need to look for fellows we need to see that breakout okay this breakout this breakout so selling at this area is not a good idea okay this is a daily continuation formation to the, to the downside okay so your entry should be somewhere here close to this area close to 50 percent tracement all right so if you are not in wait and watch for the price to pull back somewhere here then you need to be interested to the sell all right so those who are following me on new zealand dollar since very long they understand what we are looking for all right so what we are looking for so All right, so there is link, fellows. Those who want to, who want my Telegram link, what they can do, they can click on any of my idea. There is a link. All right, all all links are there. You can follow me here. Okay, this is the Telegram link. You can follow me here. You can even follow me on all channels, all 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 pages. Yeah, like Facebook. Facebook, Instagram, so Telegram, Twitter, YouTube. So you can follow me over there, all right? For quick updates. Okay, so where you are, what we are looking for on New Zealand dollar, we are looking for the New Zealand dollar to, to, to come close to that trend line first at this area. Yeah, if it is not going to come close to that trend line, and I mean, if it is going to, you know, not going to break this trend line, right? So then we're going to look for another up leg. So first of all, this is the trade, the trade we're going to look for. If it is going to break out, similar like the USD CAD, if you remember that, okay? Up to that, this previous bottom. So where your entry should be on this pair, your entry should be somewhere. Okay, somewhere here within these areas. So we already managed to sell when this impulse was appearing over there, okay? So your entry should be somewhere here within this 50% area, okay? This is not a sell place. You should not sell at this area. So let this impulse correct back within these areas. Then you need to look for sell that bigger daily flag to the downside, okay? So New Zealand dollar, we are looking to break down this daily flag to the downside. So keep an eye. So USD CAD, so we have spoken about this pair in our daily meeting with so much detail. So those fellows who are who are member, they understand. But those who are not fellows, there are two possibilities, okay? This is basically a reversal formation, okay? This channel, the channel which is just developing over there is a reversal formation, okay? So price, price has to reverse into that direction. Okay, so what we may see within that formation, we may see another move down and then up. Okay, so those fellows who are following me on New Zealand Yen, they understand what I'm talking about. Okay, New Zealand Yen. So we have seen that formation, this formation. Let me look at that chart quickly so that you can understand. All right, so basically this is a reversal formation. Okay, so that is the reversal formation. We were looking for one more lag and then we were looking for the reversal to the upside in our room. Okay, so this is the wave, the wave we may see on USD CAD in coming, coming days. Okay, so this lag, this one more lag may appear over there. Okay, so this is currently a price action area all right so what it can do it can break out or it can break down both ways 
all right both ways so pattern is telling us that it can break down so when it is going to 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 break above like that this is going to change the pattern formation okay and going to reverse back to the upside so we need to see a continuation formation outside that before looking to buy okay before looking to buy for upside so where you need to pay attention for buy and for sell for this week so those fellows who are in the morning me morning meeting they can see that clearly this flag is going to break okay that is what i was talking about in the morning meeting okay breaking down so those fellows who are there in the morning meeting you need to pay attention at this area okay that is the place for seller and uh, you know those who are looking to buy you need to see clear breakout okay this structure clear breakout let the market clearly break above that and then pull back this big, bigger pullback required over there in bigger time frame then we're gonna look for a continuation for the upside the reversal on usd cad okay so usd cad still in downtrend okay still in downtrend so that is the place this structure it should violate that trend line this bearish trend okay so watch keep an eye we're gonna we're gonna have a big trade on this pair which is waiting for us very you know which is going to come over there very soon all right so we are repeating that formation at this area okay this is those who were following me on this formation they understand what formation is this okay so what has happened over there at that time okay so keep an eye at this area so euro new zealand dollar Euro New Zealand dollar is forming a bigger daily continuation formation for upside. All right. So above that trend line, it is bullish. This trend line. Okay? This is a bigger daily flag. Above that trend line, it is bullish. All right. So where we should look for buy, we should look for buy close to lower trend line. Not at this area. Okay. If you're going to buy at this area, you will not be able to manage your risk. Yeah, you will start to do struggle. So for buy setup, that is the place you need to pay attention. This lower trend line. So currently we are selling this pair in our room for short term. We took a couple of trade setups, a couple of shots, and uh, you know, I took some profit. All right. So we 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 need to see this pattern to complete somewhere here. Okay, at this trend line, this formation. For another leg to the upside. Okay, this flag should complete somewhere here. So it can break above that trend line before hitting this area. Yeah, it can continue. But I'm not looking for this place to buy. This is not a reasonable place to go for long. Okay, why? Because it can change the formation easily at that top. So we are not looking for, for buy over there. Currently, we are looking for sell in our room. So we sold this pair a couple of times. Yeah, so those fellows who are already into that trade for short term somewhere here so we sold this pair from this area that that area and that area that that area yeah in our room so we sold this pair that area and we were waiting for the for the news event over the weekend okay so those fellows who are looking to sell you need to see a continuation pattern formation before selling all right if you see that pattern formation then you need to be interested to sell up to that trend line okay so break above this trend line it is a bullish all right this pattern gonna be continued to the upside if price is going to stay a couple of candles does not you know will not will it the couple of candles will not will it the the, the 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 pattern okay so some fellows stick to the trend lines I mean, if trend line price is just going slightly above that trend line, then they think that it is going to, to change the formation like this. Okay, so you can see over there a couple of candles went beyond that and again price started to fall. So this does not mean that this bigger trend is going to change. So clear break above, clear break above like this. Okay, this is the clear break that this pattern is going to lead. All right. So a couple of candles above that trend line does not mean that it's going to change the formation. So watch, keep an eye. Cat chief, cat chief is going to be, you know, what I can say that about this pair fellows. 
it is doing you know like like crazy that is what i was telling you fellows in the in the morning meeting okay so we are breaking down so aggressively so the bigger trade we are looking for that this is the longer term trade so where we are we are at the weekly top okay so we should not look for buy this is not at a buy place this is at a sell place so what i was telling to to the members so euro yen is more stronger than i think the, the cat chief what i was telling you fellows i was telling that this move should come up to that area and then you need to look for sell okay so those who managed to sell here on the breakout perfect you did an excellent job okay so it should continue to the downside if it is not going to continue you know at which place it is going to change the pattern formation okay and where you need to pay attention that is the, the place okay keep an eye you can see the spiking back from this bottom okay keep an eye at this area if it is going to reverse the way the, the way previous spectrum formation has done over there if it is going to do that you need to be on safe side i mean you need to be on break even okay you need to be on break even so those fellows who are who are not into that trade fellows watch for lower time frame 15 minutes at this area continuation formation okay then you need to be interested to sell otherwise don't sell this is not a sell place it is breaking that was the sell place okay or this is the place where we need to sell okay so first of all go back to the lower time 15 minute time frame and if see the continuation formation then go for a short okay all right fellow so those are into that trade this formation okay what we have seen breakout and price change the pattern formation at this area okay this bottom and went into that direction okay so this is the lower time frame. this this basically this formation is a on, on, on lower time frame like one hour or 30 minutes okay so it can change the pattern formation so you need to be safe over there all right so good luck those who manage to sell enjoy your trade fellows so pound usd breaking okay so breaking so that is what what what, what i was talking about in, in the morning meeting okay what we need to look for we need to look for clear breakdown okay clear breakdown of that trend line the trend line which is breaking right now so we need to see clear breakdown all right clear breakdown so what trade we are looking for we are looking for this bigger trade to the downside all right that trade and if it is going to continue perfect that is the bigger longer term trade we are looking for so price section is building at the top perfect it is doing nice all right so let it clearly continue to the downside a couple of more candles okay this is not a sell place again i told you fellows in the those who are member i told them in the morning morning meeting this is not a sell place okay so sell place where is the sell place at, at this area or at that top okay or at when this impulse was breaking okay in the in the federal funds with the cn okay when this impulse was appearing over there all right so that was the sell or this impulse when appearing over there okay currently this is not a sell place okay so where your cell your cell should be at this area okay when your cell gonna be over there when it will clearly break down like that and will start to crack back then you need to be interested to sell okay then your cell should be somewhere here if you're gonna sell at this area what what it will do it will reverse back within that structure okay and you're gonna start to worry about that trade what's going on okay all right so where where you need to look for sell every time when price is just coming close to the top at this area okay so that you can manage your risk if you're gonna sell at this area you will not be able to manage your risk yeah it can reverse back to the top and you're gonna start to worry about your trade oh what's going on it is reversing all right so keep an eye let the market clearly break out so those fellows who are following me at this area they understand what i'm talking about okay those who are following let me look at that chart they understand what i'm talking about okay so 
what we were having over there reversal formation we were looking for buy we have we have got the impulse over there we got the continuation formation so that was the buy place for that wave okay so we need to see a continuation formation like that where at this area okay then if you are into that trade from that to a perfect move and break even and look for further downside all right so let it continue further let it form a couple of more candles then look for sell okay and selling the pound usd means that buying the stock okay so as uk 100 index i think i i i have changed my you know removed my structure over there on this this index so keep an eye on this 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 place okay it is currently it is rising correctively what it can do it can fall back okay it can fall back for a couple of candles like that okay can fall back and then can continue to the upside okay so that is the wave the wave you need to look for okay like what like this way all right like that way all right continuation formation bullish move flag zigzag one two three or whatever next impulse okay expanding triangle next impulse okay that that wave so where we need to pay attention this area okay so keep an eye on uk 100 index so these are the upper the, the charts i'm showing you these are the opportunities okay these are the the the, the opportunities you can you can take take on okay you can look for 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 buy or sell I'm not showing you those charts which are not ready to do anything, you know, which are not ready to do anything right now. So we were looking for the the, the sell on the on the gold, All right? Continuation formation. So in our room, in morning meeting, I was telling my members that this formation we need to look for. All right, this formation. Okay, one, two, three, or zigzag. So that was the place, the place we were looking for. So you all can see that how price is doing at this area. Okay, so this is not ready to sell right now. Okay, so what it is going, it is going to push up. It is going to rise. Okay, so for confirmation, for upside, what we need to look for at this area, we need to look for another continuation formation at this area. Okay, another continuation formation like that. If we are going to have that formation at this area, then we need to be interested to look for buy. If we don't see that formation, gold is not going to rise. Okay, so for any buy on gold, you need to see the continuation formation. I know that we are having some risky event over there, all right? And others heavens are, are are rising so nicely. Okay, we are having this you know this risky event, and because of that risky event, gold is rising, yen is rising. Yeah, so for confirmation for upside, we need to see that it is forming a flag outside that bigger daily flag on lower time frame. All right, this bigger daily flag. All right, so we were looking for that one more leg. All right, so outside that bigger daily flag at this area on lower time frame, then we can go for that up leg. Okay, if we don't see that formation, there is no buy setup, no buying over there. Okay, what it can do, it can form a couple of candles and can start to drop to the downside. All right, it can form a couple of candles at this area and still can drop to the downside like that. Okay, so be patient. It is, it is, if it is going to rise, then we easily we're gonna get get buy setup over there. All right. So like this. Okay, so if it is going to continue for another like to the upside, we're gonna see flag over there on lower time frame for the up move. Okay, so keep an eye. Let the impulse complete and let the flag form over there and then look for buy over there. So USDN, USDN, looks like showing some price section over there so this is the, the formation the formation i'm looking for so we call that falling wedge so falling wedge may appear over there okay this falling wedge may appear over there one more leg to the downside may appear over there 
Okay, this one more like to the downside. For upside, we need to see a bigger daily continuation formation at this area. Okay, then it, it this formation will confirm that it is going to continue for the bigger wave, like extension of this impulsive move to the upside. All right. So we, what we need to see, we need to see, you know, this wave or flag for the upside, bigger daily flag for the upside. Okay. For this trade, this move, it is already setting up for this move. Yeah. Not setting up for that move. So we can look for a bearish move to the downside. Okay. It, we we were talking about this pair in our room in early in the in, in the morning meeting. We were waiting for this breakout. Yeah. So I hope some of you fellows managed to get in this breakout, this flag, in this breakout. So it is not breaking so aggressively, fellows. You can see over there, the third candle, which is just appearing over there, it looks like corrective candles, okay? So what it can do, it can form another flag like that. This formation may develop over there, okay? If this is, basically, this is a formation for upside the bigger daily formation okay for upside so if this formation is going to appear over there what you need to look for you need to look for this impulsive move to the downside if that impulsive move is going to appear over there keep that trade for the downside the bigger wave which I'm, I'm, I'm sh I have shown when we get time frame yeah keep that trade look for sales the way we have seen breakout over there yeah look for sell at this area let the market continue to the downside okay so those who are already holding their short good luck look for further down downside yeah we are having nice price action all right so we may see one more like to the downside so keep an eye on this pair so uh, uh, dxy have spoken about that and uh, silver silver we are not interested on the silver at the moment yeah we are not looking for for for, for buy or sell at the moment at this 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 place so where are we going to look for buy at this price when price gonna come somewhere here and then we're gonna look for longer term move to the upside. So what it can do, fellows, quite similar like 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 gold, all right? So it can go for another like to the upside, like this. Okay, so it can go for another like to the upside, like this. All right. So pay attention at the bottom what price is going to do. It is currently rising making some bullish momentum over there so keep an eye so euro pound so euro pound finally we got the the bigger wave the way we were waiting on, on euro pound but there is a bigger continuation formation which is just developing over there so those fellows who are already holding their shot from that top you need to look for another sell okay you need to look for another sell but where you need to look for another sell at this area okay not on the breakout okay don't sell the breakout if you're gonna sell the breakout you may get trapped over there okay so this move completed those who bought for that perfect good job and those who sold at this area good job and what we may see now we may see this formation okay this formation if it is going to break down, let it continue. Okay, let it continue. If you're going to sell at this area and, uh, you know, I mean, if you're going to sell on this breakout, it can go a couple of candles and then can start to, to reverse and you're going to start to worry about that. Okay, if you are not in from this area or this area or from this area. Yeah, okay. So let the market break down clearly and correct back I mean you need to see similar formation after that breakout okay that breakout and then you need to continue to the downside okay so I'm not interested to sell on this breakout okay this is not a good place to look for sell at this breakout because we don't see any you know extraordinary ordinary things into the market right now I mean which can push this pair aggressively to the downside like that okay so what it can do it can form a couple of candles and can reverse so we need to be careful while selling at this area so new sellers should should wait for the price to, to hit this area and then you need to be trusted to sell yeah you can look for this short term buyer setup as well okay once you're going to see this 
kind of momentum is just building over there. All right, so if you are happy with the breakouts and you love to sell the breakout, then you can do that. You can try that, okay, at this breakout. This breakout. You can try that breakout. If you are used to take the breakout, you can do that. But currently, it is not look like that. It is, I mean, it is not going to continue to downside. Yeah, so it looks like it is going to get back to the top again. So look for short them up and then drop. And uh, USD, Uzi USD, we are looking for the this bigger way. Yeah, already into that trade from the top. On that day when it, I think when this was happening, I think there is Uzi USD, USD CAD, and uh, no, there is no Uzi USD in this chart. All right, so we sold this pair on that day here when it was happy. Yeah, okay. So those fellows are not into that trade for sell. Okay, your sell should be somewhere here at this area. Not at this area, okay? At this area, your sell should be at this area for that week. If you're gonna sell at this area and it is going to reverse back, you're gonna start to worry about that. So why your sell should be somewhere there at that top? Because this form, this they are gonna form this flag, yeah, bigger daily, a bigger four hour flag, and then you are going to continue to the downside, yeah. So still we are in this corrective mode. You can see. We are still in this daily corrective mode, okay? The daily corrective mode. So what it can do, it can form a couple of patterns, and those patterns gonna look like continuation. But market can change those patterns easy, easily. All right. So if market is strongly trending into a into any direction, like upside or downside, and you see the continuation formation, you can easily join those breakouts okay but selling breakouts within these areas yeah areas like that is highly risky okay buying and buying and selling within these areas is highly risky okay so what you may get trapped over there so don't buy or sell during bigger corrective formations all right, so when you're going to see these kind of flags, that means it is going to continue. All right, but when you see these kind of flags in a bigger formation, bigger corrective formation, high likely price is going to change these formations. Okay, so try to understand where you are looking for the breakouts. So some traders just, you know, look for the breakouts even in a bigger formation. So most of the time they get bad trades okay so what, what we were looking for in our room we were looking for another up leg short term up leg this flag and then selling from at this area so those fellows who are holding their shot from there from here you just need to stay to that trade okay so we were looking for this one more up leg okay and then another shot so this formation is going to be the four hour Continuation formation to the downside. Okay, so this leg, this leg. All right, if this leg is going to appear over there, so sell as much high as possible so that you can manage your risk. Yeah, so selling from here like this flag and then to the downside doesn't make, make any sense. It can get back to the top again. Yeah, where we are, we are at the bigger corrective formation. So we are at that bottom. So it can get back to the top again. All right, this bottom. You can see over there. It, we are still within these areas, so it can reverse easily, reverse back to the top again. So don't look for sell the break or buy the break. I mean, sell the break or within at the bottom. So U.S. Hong Kong dollar. So those fellows who missed the opportunity on this pair, this is time. This is another a chance for you. Okay, this is another chance for you. Let me look at the the the, the four hour time frame. This is for another chance for you. Okay, look for sell at this area. 
we were watching price action at this area we haven't got anything so this is the place we need to look for that is the trade like the previous one okay and it can continue for the further downside all right so keep an eye so break above this break okay that area this top break above that top will change this formation all right so we are still bearish so we believe that this we are going to fall to the downside so aggressively okay so first target this and for the downside so this is a very nice opportunity so, so keep an eye okay so pound yen pound yen currently is not ready to to, to, to take a bigger trade okay bigger trade to the upside or downside so we need to see something at that area so that something is just going to appear over there so we need to see more price action at this area okay so last week what we were looking for we were looking for this pullback and then another up move okay so if price is not going to form that formation and going to form an impulsive move to the downside we're going to start to sell this pair okay we're going to start to sell this pair to the downside okay all right so what i'm looking for i'm looking for one more up leg okay up leg yeah so currently that up leg, up leg is less likely that up leg is less likely why the up leg is less likely because we can see that yen is getting strong okay so we need to see continuation formation at this area for completion of that okay up to that area completion of that so currently we don't see that formation at this area so what we see we see stronger impulsive move at this area okay we need to see a continuation pattern formation before selling this pair within that structure again okay back to this bottom all right so we need to see this formation at this area currently yeah this is what i what i what i was anticipating a flag and then up okay so it is building the momentum for the downside that is good that is good so but that momentum is not enough to, to, to look for longer term sell all right longer term sell to the downside so what we need to see we need to see clear breakout like that and then continuation formation okay so that is what we do every time what this is what we need to see before selling this pair for the downside for longer term okay so if this is not going to happen we are not going to get done so what we are going to have what what we are going to see the trade which i have shown my my trader in the group okay that trade Okay, so stop loss you can use according to your risk to odd ratio and according to your, your your strategy. Yeah. So this formation, okay. Let me draw that. All right, this formation. Right, this formation. This one more up leg we may see over here. Okay, so for sell we need to see this area to break down clearly continuation. Then we are seller over there. Okay, so those fellows who are looking to buy for short term keep an eye at this area. Okay, this this area, this place, this place. So you may get that trade. Okay, keep an eye at this area. Watch price action before buying over there. So Uzi Chief, this formation already breaking down so aggressively because of the, the risk event. We are having a risk event over there. So this formation I'm looking for, yeah, that trade. This trade. So this is weekly top, that trade. Okay, every time when price is just surging to the top, sell. Okay, sell, sell this pair. So it is rising correctively, sell this pair. So that is the way the way we, we need to look for. All right, so it is falling so aggressively to the downside because of the risk event. 
Okay, that is that is good for those those who are already holding their shot since since couple of days okay but those who are not into that trade wait for the price to come close to within these areas and then look for sell as much high as possible close to this trend line the bigger daily structure okay bigger daily structure so we don't sell these running candles at this area this is not a good place okay something like this These tools are not working properly. I, I'm, I'm having some issues with them. Yeah, I'm having some issues with them. They are not working properly. So, some issues. So, all right. So, at least price should come up to that top, and then you need to be interested to sell. Or, if it is not going to happen, that then wait for this to clearly break down and watch continuation formation, and then go for short somewhere here at this area. Okay. So if it is testing every time it is forming new high, look for sell colors. Those are not in, look for sell. So pound chief, it looks like breaking. Yeah, breaking, that is good. Okay, so that is what I was telling to my traders in the morning meeting. All right, so we were having over there a nice flag, so we were watching that breakout that flag breakout so we got that breakout now we need now we need to see the continuation formation okay so continuation formation of this this is what we were we are looking for all right that way the way we are looking for if this wave is going to happen then remember euro pound will not continue to the downside euro pound may may stay sideways okay may stay sideways so careful yeah you need to understand both pairs all right, so we were looking for that flag, that flag breakout. We got that breakout, and breakout is so aggressive. This this price behavior is just telling us that we are not going to, to, to break about that top, okay? This price behavior, the price behavior we are having, this price behavior is telling us that we are not breaking that top. Yeah, we, we are holding that top so i hope you fellows managed to, to to get into that trade those who are there in the, in the meeting okay so those fellows who are not in you just need to see another continuation formation over there okay all right so fellows uh, some fellows are asking a lot of questions over there on the youtube so if I if I start to, to answer all of your questions, then you know I'll not go through the pairs. Yeah, so you can ask me later on or someone else from the group they can tell to the to the people on the YouTube, they can answer their questions. Yeah? And if, if we, we're gonna have some time at the end then we're gonna talk about your, your questions. Okay? So anyone those who are or asking for the for the joining to in, in, into the group there is a website you can visit that website all right there is a website you can visit that website that website all right so you can visit that website and you can even ask me you know by sending text on these links later on yeah let me finish this and then we're going to talk about the, the the question the question you are asking okay all right Good luck. Perfect if you are in, in that trade, NS. Okay, so those fellows who are not in, let the market continue. And when it will start to form up another flag, then there, there are going to be another opportunity to go for a shot. All right, fellows? So those who are not into that trade. So don't worry. It is not going to go far away. This pair has a huge potential. It is not going to go far away. You're going to see a couple of more entries over there. Okay, the way we have done at this area okay at this area all right the way we have done at this area if you remember this way the way we have done at this area if you remember that way the way we have done at this area okay so we are gonna see a couple of more chances over there for this bigger wave to the downside okay don't worry it is not going to go away without you 
all right so nice price action is just coming over there watch this continuation formation go for that way all right so i don't i don't think so we're gonna see that breakout yeah something like that breakout and if it is going to do something like that no need to worry about that okay no need to worry about that it is not going to go far away yeah so this is a perfect opportunity nice opportunity found you yeah if it is going to do something like that we're not gonna worry about that all right so we're gonna still bearish on this pair yeah so this formation th these couple of candles will not change the bigger formation okay will not change the bigger weekly formation all right fellows so keep an eye on pound chief pound uzi dollar pound uzi dollar so we were waiting for this to form a flag over there yeah so this short term trade me up here over there okay fellows this short term trade me up here over there yeah so if it is going to, to break aggressively you can hold that trade for the for the for the bottom up to this area all right so basically what we were looking for we were looking for this to form another flag and continue the previous trend at this area continue the previous trend yeah this trend so it is, is it is falling aggressively so we are currently you know holding i mean staying away on this pair to 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 look for buy at this area so this is not at a you know good buy place so we were waiting for the for it to form a nice continuation formation before going to buy yeah so it can further push the downside all right so keep an eye if it is going to break down aggressively you can look for short term sell back to the bottom all right so let me look at the phone can similar like the pound Uzi dollar okay we were looking to buy we were looking to to to, to buy on pound cat for the longer term okay so this is currently forming a reversal formation so what it can do it can do like that okay it can come close to, to this bottom again but but for, for, for this trade, we need to see a continuation formation at this area, okay? All right? If we don't see that continuation formation, we are not selling this pair. So what we may see, we may see bigger continuation formation for upside at this area. Okay, so we are currently, you know, waiting for this formation to clear. Either it is going to go for upside or going to, to, to get down to the downside, yeah? So we are waiting for this pair to clear the direction, which way it is going to go. Either it is going to go longer term upside then we need to see a bigger correction over there yeah if it's not going to go for the upside going to get down to the bottom again we need to see that channel break down clearly impulsive move flag and then we're gonna sell all right for the downside so i don't think so this is gonna be a good opportunity to go for short or long this week yeah this week and same this pair yeah so we are waiting on these these three pairs this week yeah no not a good opportunity on these three pairs so eurocad eurocad is also not a good opportunity yeah this week not a good opportunity so if you remember the last week what i told you i told you we're gonna see that move okay so those who are holding their 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 loan from the bottom perfect but those who are not this is the formation the formation we are having over there all right so you only gonna get this much potential you need to understand how much you are risking and how much much you are trying to get over there okay so pay attention at this bottom okay for that trade all right so if it is going to get down there is not a sell setup i mean if it is going to get down this this is not a good opportunity to go for a shot So your chief, your chief is is you know showing some crazy move over there at the top. So previous structure was completely changed over there. Yeah, we were looking for the short same same formation was there in the last couple of weeks. So this year moves very very slow. So a broken out chief that top. So it is falling aggressively. Simply watch the, this formation. 
this formation and sell this pair up to the bottom. Alright, so up to which level? Up to the strand line, this structure, this structure we are looking for. So testing the 7 and 6, that move. Okay, so where we need to see continuation formation at this area. Okay, that move. So Cadian broken down. Yeah, the flag, the flag I was showing to my group member in the morning. That flag is breaking. All right, so this trade. Let me show you. Those fellows who managed to sell this pair, look for this trend line. All right, this trend line. If it is going to break down, stay into that trade for the downside. Okay. So we're going to see price action at that trend line for further sell. Okay, so currently it is breaking perfect. You should be into that breakout somewhere here. Okay, that trade. All right, so flag breaking down perfectly. So you should be on, 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 in, in that trade on breakout. So CAD yen and New Zealand yen. Okay, so that was the, the channel, the channel I was showing you, but currently, you know, this channel breaking into that direction, all right? So currently, we are not interested to, to look for a trade set on New Zealand yen, yeah, on this pair. We are not looking to buy and sell at this pair. So what it can do, fellows, both possibilities are there, yeah? It can go for another up leg, this up leg, or it can totally draw back to the bottom again. All right. Okay. So currently we are neutral on this pair. So if it is going to form a bigger continuation formation at this area, then you can look for sell to the downside. All right. Okay. So I'm neutral on this pair. Not looking for for any opportunity on this pair right now. Okay. One more up leg is possible and possible and 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 one more. It can get back to the bottom again. So Uzi Yen is quite similar like this pair, okay? But we, we may see an opportunity over there. So it is already breaking down, yeah? Breaking down. So we were looking for the bigger formation, bigger for our time frame formation at this area, yeah? So this pair is going to be much better to go for short rather than using an Yen, all right? This pair. This formation we were looking for at this area. Okay, but that way. So keep an eye at this area for downside. So let me look at the, the pairs quickly. So this pair, let me skip a couple of pairs so that we can finish on time. All right, so finally this pair started to fall. Yeah, so Uzi dollar should fall at more than the uh, more, uh, more aggressively than the New Zealand dollar. Okay, so we start to sell this pair from that top. So this leg, this continuation formation, which is not ready. Okay, just twelving over there. So let me look at the stock and then cryptocurrency. So okay this is not ready to sell or not ready to buy s p 500 is looks like getting back to the bigger formation you can look for sell over there okay this move this move so how you can look for sell over there you need to see i think i have posted the uh, you know update on this chart this chart so S and P five hundred not matching. So I need to search that chart. So so let's leave that. All right. So I posted uh, the buy setup over there from this area. 
okay so what we need to look for we need to look for this wave over there yeah or, or for this week okay so keep an eye at this area you okay. get this kind of formation and then look for sell okay remember you are looking to sell against the bigger trend yeah always there gonna be a risk always there gonna be a risk you need to understand what you are doing so buying risk is less so selling risk is is, is, is more you know more yeah buying uh, selling risk is, is, is higher over there okay because the bigger trend is to the upside so you should stop loss according to that don't give if it is going to continue don't give more room take your take off if it's not going to continue take off don't hold that trade for i mean don't move your stop losses always use when you are trading against the trend always use stop loss all right so s p 500 and uh, nasdaq is also coming close to the bottom trend line yeah we're gonna look for buy the way we have done last time all right so we're gonna pay attention at this area all right this area if it is going to stop the way we have done at this area we're gonna look for another up leg the way we have done at this area okay that's the candle index and the other indexes are not or you know, you know good to go for trade setup so let's look at the the cryptocurrencies all right yes yeah, sugar 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 is breaking down yeah i hope you fellows managed to get into that trade so watch this breakout if it is if this breakout is going to continue yeah, look for further downside, but there is not a, you know, huge potential on this sugar. You're only going to get some money, yeah, up to this bottom. This breakout, already broken down, yeah, at this trend line, if it is going to continue, stay into that trade after that area, okay? That way we are looking for continuation, all right? Continuation to the downside. All right, so let's look at the cryptocurrencies so Bitcoin yeah so one more up move is there on Bitcoin so it is not going to 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 crash or going to to be a you know fraud all right so some 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 experts are talking about that this is the fraud all right so this up move this one leg this similar like that all right correction correction and one more up leg all right so the question is there we should be into that trade okay that is the question so as much low as possible somewhere here at this area okay close to this pull back that is the place you need to be to that trade if it is going to continue perfect perfect what you need to look for you need to look for lower time frame continuation formation if you are having keep buying it all right, so Bitcoin forms very, very clear pattern formation. Everyone can see that. All right, you all can see that. So I'm, I'm, I was looking for this move, this wave, to complete up to this bottom and then start to rise. Yeah, so let me show you. All right, so Bitcoin will rise. It is not going to, to, to fall. Even it can go beyond the 6,000. So that is what I was looking for. That like that formation to complete. Yeah, this this wave, this wave to complete at this area, and then we were looking for for, for upside. Okay, so still I'm, I'm, the wave it is rising. It is rising correctively. All right, so we can see the retest up to the three thousand or thirty two hundred. Area. If so, that's going to be an ideal place to go for long. All right. So if it is going to continue up to this area, all right. 
okay the trace made of bad impulse within this area so look for buy okay look for buy look for that bigger move bigger wave so this correction is about to end it is not going to fall something like that all right i mean some some fellows don't understand the price behavior and just keep talking about that this is going to be a crash or something like that so do you think that this is the crash crash look like that yeah crash doesn't look like that yeah so those those who are not there in the long at this area they join the market at this area okay so they will not let down the market they will not you know go into will not let the market to, to go into this direction okay so they are sitting at this area with full power any retracement within this area are gonna give you an opportunity okay if you remember the usd us dollar and hong kong dollar okay if you remember that chart you understand what i'm talking about if you don't remember that chart you are not understand you are not getting the point the point i'm trying to tell you okay so full strength is over there so buyers are sitting over there with full force so any pullback within this area is going to be a buy opportunity okay that's how charts move that's how bond price forms bounce bounce off all right so keep an eye on the, on the bitcoin so a couple of other coins are also quite similar like the bitcoin okay bitcoin like bitcoin and euro you need to 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 be into the the, the buy somewhere here okay at this area at this area okay so if it is we we don't see price at this these areas then what you need to look for you need to look for clear breakout like that and then you need to see the continuous formation of 50 minute time frame or what are then keep buying, buying this pair after that top all right very simple so the 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 bitcoins form clear patterns clear patterns rather than the forex if you understand the patterns you understand the next direction okay let me show you quickly continuation to the downside yeah so coins are more clear than to the forex all right impulse flag continuation impulse flag continuation all right so we are looking for this to come somewhere here for a better price to go for long okay if it is not going to test that area what you need to look for look for a continuation and keep buying yeah all right the way you can see over here let me let me show you the example so that you can understand all right so clear continuation formations you can see over there on coins all right so Continuation formation arising, continuation formation impulse, continuation formation impulse, continuation formation and other impulse, continuation formation and other impulse. Okay, this is what you need to do. Where within this area? Okay, okay, if it is going to rise, forming continuation, keep buying, forming continuation, keep buying. Okay, so the the Ripple, Monero, and the US dollar. Okay, let the price come close to this area. All right, so basically, we are having nice price action over there. So we just need to see the pullback of this impulsive move, okay, up to this area, up to this bottom, or close to this trend line for that up move. Okay, so this move will appear over there very soon, like that, something like this. So this is the correct move. So we love this pattern. Okay, we love to see this kind of pattern in our room. Okay, so those fellows who understand what I'm talking about, this is very nice pattern. So it should continue to that direction. So where you need to look for buy close to this bottom. Okay, this is currently forming a flag. It can go for another leg down. And if so, pay attention at this area. So there are a couple of exchanges. You can search for them. Yeah, I use a couple of them. Like Bitrex and a couple of others so you can look for you can search all right you can search over there so there are many exchanges so recently we have seen that China has you know block or block some of them so you should use those which are not you know where your capital is not risk is not at risk yeah safe so try to, to open your account with those exchanges where 
you think that your captain is not at, not at risk, okay? So consider that before opening your account with, with exchanges. Because some, some exchanges are not legal, yeah? Not, not have, you know, haven't got the, got the license to, 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 to provide this service, okay? So careful. All right, so what we are looking for, one retracement within these areas, okay? Almost on all coins, and then up more. All right, so Litecoin is quite similar like the others, like Bitcoin. Okay, so this up leg, one more up leg. So leg something like this. So this is the corrective move, stronger price action, that up leg. So where we need to look for buy, this area. All right, this formation, that up leg. All right, so you can look at my charts. I have posted over there chart for more information. Yeah, these ideas, the ideas I have posted over there. So Ethereum, quite similar like the Bitcoin. Okay, one more leg. So rising, rising for activity, okay? It can come up to this bottom easily. So this trend line is, is changing. I mean, let me remove that trend line. Okay, so what it can do, it can rise correctively, it can draw. If so, that is the place you need to look for buy. Look at that leg. This is the bigger wave you need to look for. So currently, we are in the bearish trend. All right, this is the, 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 the price action. The, the price action is telling us that the previous trend is resuming, yeah, going to continue to that direction. So that is the place. You can look for short term sell and then up buy. All right, so we can see another nice opportunity on this coin as well. Okay, where you need to look for upside at this area. Okay, this area, look for buy at this area. Okay, what is the trade? That is the trade. Okay, close below, then go for, for long from this bottom. All right, I don't think so. This we're gonna go that much far. Okay, so pay attention at this bottom. So your entry should be something like this. I think I'm having still some issue. Yeah, still showing some problem. So your entry should be at this area. Or if you, you don't want to buy at this area, then look for a price to, to, to break out like that. Yeah, like this area. All right, like that. And buy for the upside. Okay, so that trade for upside. And uh, this coin, this coin already breaking to the upside and looks like, you know, reversing from that top. So I was looking for buy from, you can see over there. Yeah, so all coins going to give you nice flags. If you understand the pattern, you understand the next moves. Yeah, all coins forms very clear continuation formations. If you understand them you understand the next move okay so this move you need to look for another up move on this this coin okay so you remember you are buying somewhere here at that top okay so the potential you're gonna get over there gonna be very small all right so if it is not going to continue going to come close to that trend line much better opportunity over there okay at this area okay so use stop loss over there on this this pair regional stop loss this coin yeah and add token, add token is sitting at the bottom. I don't think so. This coin is going to go beyond the zero. All right. We are already sitting at the zero. So those fellows who have the access to buy this coin, look for buy, yeah? So I don't think so. This coin is going to go beyond the zero, yeah? Sitting at the, 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 the 900 or 1000. Okay. So look for buy at this area. Okay, every time when it is coming close to this area, look for buy. Yeah, look for buy. Look for buy. So what kind of trade setup you're gonna see over there? This kind of trade setup. Okay, this kind of trade setup we are looking for. So we're gonna see spike like that. Yeah, last time we have seen that spike. Yeah. So we are waiting for the the market to give this kind of spike. Okay. 
all right so buy this coin if you have the access to buy this coin i think on bitrex exchange you you have the access to buy this coin you can buy the ad tokens yeah so look for buy the the ad token on, on bitrex all right so i don't think so this is gonna go beyond this the, the the zero line yeah we are already at the bottom sitting at the bottom so so open price was at what was at the top all right so open price way above at this area okay that is the higher high that is the the open price okay so where we are sitting at the bottom at 900 yeah all right so we can get profit on this trade easily so keep an eye on this token this point all right so enough for today so let's move on to your question so what you are talking about so some of you fellows were asking that uh, All right. So if you, if some of you, if some fellows, yes. So we are, we are having two types of trading. So one is group based on group, and the other one is based on the one on one. Yeah. So I, uh, you know, I believe that many, um, many fellows can't, you know, you know, they, 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 they can't afford the one on one. Yeah, one on one, one on one trading. So what they can do, they can join us. In the group okay so in group we hold meeting every day at 10 a.m. yeah London time so you can join those meetings daily meetings so we talk about in those meetings trade setups and educational stuff yeah so you can join that group you can you know learn within that group yeah so in group you will have the access to a couple of videos so stuff like you know two to three hundred videos and a couple of other stuff and uh, you know access to the group yeah group membership we we, we we share trade setup in our group so you will have the access to the group so that's only going to cost you 500 so that will you know that membership gonna be unlimited yeah so you will be there you will learn all of your life all you know all of your life means unlimited access to the to the membership so that's that is cheap and many of you fellows can 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 you know afford that R rather than taking one on one or taking two thousand you know dollar course or or, or five thousand dollar course yeah you can learn lots of things within, within our group so the information we share in the in the in the weekly market outlook that is basic yeah that is i'm just we are just showing you trade setups in weekly market out, outlook yeah but how to, to take these trade setups, we don't, you know, share the, that information in the in the in the weekly market outlook. So that information is only for for the group member. Okay, so we talk about that information in the in the group. So those fellows who are looking to join us, you can look at the website. You can join through the website, or you can contact with me through, you know, through website or through Trading View, through through Twitter or through telegram okay so telegram what what what's your telegram link so telegram Telegram link is over there you can look at the links as I have shown you before so look at the ideas so all links are over there all links are over there you can join you can follow me over there for quick updates Yeah, there are the links. All right, so just look at the ideas. Under the ideas, you can join me on, 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 on you know, Telegram over there. Just follow me over there. Okay, so thank you very much. I was waiting seriously for, for my analysis. Thank you very much. Yeah, so for growth, how much does the course cost so for group training? Five hundred dollar, and uh, for one on one, gonna be three thousand dollar. But that gonna be for, you know, 
for 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 six weeks. All right. Okay, six week, one on one, one hour per day, five days a week, and six weeks, up to six weeks, six weeks. All right. So. All right. So that was the the YouTube. So other fellows. So you sold silver due to fab 17 and it goes to 19. I have no possibility to sell because no, not FX online banking. So now I'm left with the dollar. So if silver gold rise up, which money currency mostly related to this action? Because if it is comes 19 when you sell, I will try to use dollar to sell some related currency to silver gold chief. I can buy and sell so basically you know when there is something happen unusual un, you know something you know uncertain, uh, uncertain things happens over there in the world then we gonna see that gold gonna rise silver gonna rise cheap gonna rise and yen is gonna rise yeah so the move we are having today on these pairs, the move this is because of the threat, the war threat, the poor threat we are having over there, yeah. Alright. Okay, so when these kind of scenarios are going to happen over there, so look for buy the safe havens and sell the indexes. Alright, so enjoy your they, I think enough for today, yeah? Enjoy your your day and uh, I hope you're going to have a good trade setup. The trades that I have shown you, take those trades setup and uh, enjoy your trading day and I hope you're going to get good money during this week, all right? So you can follow me on TradingView, Facebook. I have just created a new page on Facebook. You can follow me on, on that page. I update over there as well, yeah? On Facebook page you, you can follow me over there you can follow me on telegram you can follow me on, on trading view as well all right okay so thank you very much for being with me and uh, have a great profitable week thank you fellows bye bye